We are getting closer to announcing the winner for this year's CBS Miami Netmore Trophy. Who will be the best high school football player in South Florida? CBS News Miami's Mike Cuno sat down with the four finalists and he found out what makes these four so talented. Our four finalists are now sitting together here, here at Hard Rock Stadium. We've got Jordan Lyle, Wayne McCoy, Jeremiah Smith, Josiah, JoJo Trader. Guys, first of all, how, how much have you guys played together or, or with each other? Show of hands, you guys have all played against, the, against each other at some point, right? So, Jordan, I'll start with you. What's it like when you see other guys of this caliber, this talent, line up on the other side of the field against you? Um. I see it as a blessing because, you know, I get to uh, show off my talent and, you know, enhance my skills against, you know, great players. Yeah. Luane, uh, there was a, the game against Chaminade this year that was on national TV. There was a lot of big plays that the three of you all had. But I know you're probably going to college as a wide receiver, correct? Yes, sir. But, man, that hit at the beginning of the game. Yeah, there you go. You know which one. <laughs> you're smiling. <laughs> yeah. You're smiling. What was it like playing both sides of the ball? Did, did you enjoy that? Or you think you'll miss it at the next level? Um, I definitely enjoy playing both sides of the ball against mm -hmm. Shamanah, you know, just you know, just to make plays and just, like, for my name to ring bells that night. And, and yeah, that's, that's it. Yeah. Jeremiah, obviously you've made a ton of plays in your career. You had a one-handed catch. You both had one-handed catches in that game. Your one-handed catch, I literally, our producer makes fun of me because I jumped out of my chair. I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down, everybody. We need to see, we need to see that replay. You've been one of the more sought-after recruits in the country this year. How have you handled some of that pressure? Uh, I mean, I handled it well. I mean, uh, I don't let a lot of that stuff get in my head because, you know, can't get too big-headed. So, I mean, you got to stay a straight path and don't let all the outside noise get to you. Yeah. JoJo, you've made big plays in big games. You, you have a ton of hardware yourself, obviously, looking for a little bit more. What is it about the big stage, the bright lights, that brings the best out of you? Uh, I just feel like for the big stage, I feel like I play the best and stuff like that. I just bring out the best in me on the biggest stage. You looking forward to that in the next level? Yes, sir. Is that what you tell you know, college coaches? Like, hey, when, when the lights come on, so does JoJo. Duh. Of course. <laughs> Shamanad's got one of these in their trophy case. Central's got one too. St. Thomas Aquinas, you guys got plenty of trophies in your, in your cases as well. We'll see if this one's coming home with you guys. Thank you guys so much. Been a pleasure getting to know you guys this evening. Don't forget to join us December 19th, CBSMiami.com and TV33 to find out who will win the 2023 Natmore Trophy. The CBS Miami Natmore Trophy is presented by FPL. Learn more about Florida's energy future at fpl.com slash value.